Hey what's up guys in today's video I am gonna show you how to install the latest MIUI Pro ROM in our Mi A1. So the guys the ROM is ported from Mi 5X which device has the Godex fingerprint scanner and some people feedback us that in their device the fingerprint scanner is not working. So the guys the device ROM is ported from the Godex device and it will work only if your device have Godex fingerprint scanner. If your device have any other then it won't work. So let me show you for your proof which fingerprint scanner do have in my device so you need to click on here then you will show here show it like here Godex or which company you have so there are two types one is Godex and another is FPC so Godex is working I mean in Godex brand there is fingerprint scanner working and in the other brand FPC there is no not working the fingerprint scanner so in today's video I am gonna show you how to install our MIUI Pro ROM if you face any other issue then feedback us we will try to fix except this fingerprint scanner so let us continue for the further step so guys you need to download the ROM and keep it in your internal storage and reboot your device into recovery so let me show you long press the power button so click on here the reboot to recovery mode as you can see it will directly reboot into recovery mode so guys i will take you directly to the recovery mode so guys as you can see my device is booted into twrp and what you need to go is go to the wipe and click on advanced wipe wipe the dial leak and data see how i am doing and follow the same step if you want to wipe internal you can wipe but my room is in internal so i am not wiping so after selecting those two click on swipe to wipe So it will wipe dial weekend data then go back go back go back and click on install and locate where you have kept the ROM after downloading. So click on the ROM and swipe to confirm the flash. As you can see it is flashing the ROM let me try to show you. Xiaomi Mi A1 February 2019 MIUI 10 developer 143 dev table blue RP non table latest. Here you can see our team members Akil Bhatia, Bakka Uday Tata, Zishan Ali, Sai Teja. So I will take you here after an installation of ROM. As you can see the time is 9.32 am. Remember it. I will take you directly after installing the ROM. So guys you can see the ROM installation is completed. Here is the time and here is our telegram group link etc etc. For your safety install the TWRP installer. It depends upon you whether you install or not install. I have already added the inbuilt TWRP. So after completing the installation of ROM just you need to do is click on reboot to system. So guys it will take around 10 minutes I mean 600 seconds. So let me show you the time. Here is my smartwatch. I will upload its unboxing video soon. So the time is 9.5. It may take up to 9.15. So let us click on reboot and wait. I will pause the video because it may make the video too longer. So guys one warning for you people. I am say saying you people from the first onwards. If you are on the Pi, please don't install our room. It may break your device and corrupt IMIE. So be careful guys. Follow each and every step. You may don't face any bug if you follow the all steps correctly. And if you are facing any bugs or issues, contact us in telegram or comment below. We will help you. And I will leave a poll here guys. Here or here. Tell me how many of you are using our room so that we will get support from you. So here is our new boot animation guys, MIUI Pro and there is one bug regarding fingerprint shutter. We will provide a patch or we will provide a video here at i button. By watching this video you can fix your issue with the fingerprint scanner. Here is our boot animation, not our, it is official because uh, 2019, I mean new year started for the Chinese developers, I mean Russian peoples. So the ROM is ported after new year that's why they set the boot animation to 2019 as you can see. It is looking beautiful and awesome. So guys the video is becoming too longer. So I will take you directly to the setup screen. So guys this is the boot animation which is original I mean official which will come after every reboot or boot. So I resume the video to show you people the boot animation. So I will take you directly to the setup screen. So guys as you can see the 10 minutes are completed but the device is still not booted so let us see how much time it will take. So I am keeping this uh, watch aside and see so I think the device will boot. Okay 
because the boot animation become too dull so let us see so like our video guys and share with your friends and subscribe to our channel to support us if you people will support us then we will try to put more and new roms for you people and we will try to improve and optimize the system stability and provide more updates so guys if you feel any lag then just reboot your device see guys here no sim card are detected but there is my sim card in this device it will detect after some time so till then let us complete the setup so the guys these all are the language the languages available in our room we haven't made any ch changes regarding the language so i think the device connected with server and sim card get my network so let me enter my me account password sorry i can't show you let me enter it privately so guys someone said that me account is not working in their device so you need to add me account while setting up the device only otherwise it won't work so the rom is not much stable you all people know that it is beta and beta rom have bugs and this is not official beta we have ported to single partition device to b device i mean a to ab so there may small bugs which you need to face if you need to use this rom so i am i have entered the me account password and i am clicking on the activate so it is saying verifying password updating account activating so let me select my language english us so guys you can see my networks are camped and let me skip all these steps okay skip skip so guys there is no any lag at all while setting up the device in previous version there is a lag but we fixed it so let me show you whether fingerprint scanner is working for me or not mine is good x1 and i think it may work fine for me not it may it will work fine for me because the rom is ported from good x then it should work so let me select a simple pattern okay confirm and let me add a fingerprint here you can see my fingerprint scanner i'm clicking on it okay added successfully it said so let us click on okay next choose a theme so it is loading don't worry let me select limit place applying okay next so it says setup complete you are ready to rock just hit this button and you will enter into your device so i have entered the click the button so guys everything is working fine for me with uh, fingerprint scanner also and there is a new default theme as you can see the icons toggle icons are in square shape and let me show you for your proof whether fingerprint scanner is working for me or not so let me remove the case of my device one second so here i am clicking and unlocked so there may lag at first boot it will set up after two or three reboots so let me show you in about section okay it's loading don't worry guys here you can see 9.2.14 which is latest one and links will be updated in the description guys don't worry about links and if you face any bugs then feedback us we will fix it soon so that's it for today's video guys bye bye take care jai hind vande mataram